Aussie, an extremely experienced competitor, been at the top of the sport in Australia for many years, a very good catch rider, um, competitions where one rides a, a, a different horse and swaps with other riders. Clean hold, forward to trot, very interesting horse, GB Bullwinkle, a former career as a three-day eventer, very different discipline requiring the horse to do a little bit of dressage, but also to jump large fences across country and, and show jump as a test of obedience um, as well. Extended trot, well done, clean transitions. Half pass is coming up. A horse that hasn't been that long at the Grand Prix, very successful in the small tour, including at this show previously. So the trot half pass to the right, coming a little short in the neck. And now again coming a little deep in front uh, in the transition from the, or the, the change of direction from the right to the left trot half pass. Could be even more on the hind quarters, but very well ridden, accurate, coming into the halt for the rein back. Square, a little more elastic through the pole, a little hesitating, but forward now into the trot. The second extended trot, very good transition, clean at M. Good overstep, perhaps looking for even more energy for an even bigger mark. Very smooth transition into the passage. Pretty much on the track from V to K. A little hesitation into the Piaf. Could step more under the weight even from behind in the Piaf and just coming a little forward, cleaning out into the passage. And now to the extended walk. And Rosie, this extremely experienced rider, guiding a relative newcomer through the Grand Prix test. Rosie and her husband, Heath Ryan, very well-known Australian professional riders, very successful over recent years. Into the collected walk at H, could be even a little more fluent, tiny bit of tightness. Small hesitation, but into the passage. Piaf coming up. Will Rosie stay a little more on the pace? She did, and then made the decision to move a little forward as the horse struggled for his balance. Well done. Clean transition. The passage is stronger than the Piaf at this stage. Piaf still in development into the canter. And now more active and forward, well done, collected canter. Coming up for the two time changes, nine two point two time changes. Little mistake there, showed some ones between the second and third change. And again, interesting, from the left to the right twice, he's managed to go back with ones rather than stay in the, the two tempo Tempi changes. So a couple of little errors bringing the mark down for the two time changes. Extended canter. Nicely done. Uphill frame. Seeing the transition back to collection and for the flying change. Down the centre line for the zigzag. Rosie working to improve the collection to enable the best possible balance in the zigzag. Clean change be more balanced in the half pass to the right, but better to the left. And again, coming a little better the second half pass to the right. Well ridden. Ridden by an, an, an experienced rider, working to make the flexion to the left and help the balance to the right. Into the ones, not a, not a highlight, but nonetheless accurate at this point, just a little tight still, but achieved the changes. Again, Rosie preparing well, working on the collection, 
And there's the counter pirouette, small pirouette, high risk. Whoops, one stride changing behind, coming a little wide at the end too. We saw a rider earlier, Chantal. And now for a second counter pirouette. Coming a little close together perhaps in the hind legs, but through both of the pirouettes. Now the trot transition. Uphill frame. Impressive extended trot. A little more on the haunches with the transition back at K. Passage, passage and extended trot. The highlight at this stage is this uh, horse in the Grand Prix to the Piaf. A little misunderstanding there. Coming at the end of the test. The Grand Prix, perhaps deceptively, but it's a lot of hard work for the horse. A lot of fitness, a lot of strength required. Of course, the judges are looking for the horse to sit to do pretty much of his own accord what the rider asks with more or less invisible aids. Um, but it, don't be fooled. A lot of hard work. Well done, Rossi. Rosie Ryan and GB Bullwinkle. Scores to hand for Jeremy Yonkic and Django Asakura at E57.34 at... <laughs>